want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. That's Nene Marie 3. Over you wild on my set, bro. Oh, dang. <laughs> Somebody got their ass smoked. Yo! It's your boy, Trench News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the Real Mod Squad, man. If you ain't following my mods, make sure you follow their ads at the end of the video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. I don't care how much money you say you got. With that being said, let's say the kids, man. Let's say the women. Let's say the elderly. Let's say the non-civilian man that's out there who ain't game banging, man, who work a job, and they just shining, man, and niggas hating. Let's say them. Hey, man, it's hot. It's 90, It's in the 90s now, man. They killing outside more than ever, man. They killing outside more than ever now, man. The kids, they on drugs, and they don't give two Fs. You hear me? Um, Bloodhound Lil' Jeff, man. We talking about Bloodhound Lil' Jeff today, and we talking about Buka 600 respond to C-Day. All right, I'm finna get started, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button so this can get around to Reddit and everywhere else, man. Bloodhound Lil' Jeff was killed, man. He was killed going on a hit. He was going on a hit. Him and the rest of his little um, buddies, they thought they was finna uh, ambush somebody, and they got ambushed. They had people that was already probably set up, too. And Lil' Jeff ran up. He chased the dude down what I thought. That Lil Jeff was getting chased down. Lil Jeff chased somebody down until he ended up getting shot. Now, if you ask me, man, I think Rob shot both of them. I think Rob shot the guy who ran up the stairs, and I think he shot Lil Jeff. Because they said the guy who got shot um, ran up the stairs, he got shot in the chest. Lil Jeff couldn't have shot him. I know he ain't turned around. They ain't say he got shot in the back through the chest. They say he got shot in the chest. So Rob probably hit both of them. You hear me? They said that guy, he in the hospital. But Lil Jeff ended up dying. Then we see Lil Jeff father get on there and say, man, um, it's finna be, you know what I'm talking about, clear the streets. He said clear the streets, man. You know? And Vert and and um and Q50, man, I know they hurt. But, man, they need to stay off social media and all that shit, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfuckers um, inboxing me from the streets. Man, they riding around with their picture, bro. They grabbed me. They riding around with showing them picture, bro. Report about it. Now, I got a video that's in this video, you know what I'm saying, from one block over from where Lil' J at, through the cut where Lil' Jeff got killed, this block is through the cut where Lil' Jeff got killed at. If you know the whole scene, the whole block, or you been over there, this is the next block right over. A, a, a person got parked, bro. He got parked. When I say he got parked, I mean he got parked literally, bro. He um he got shot, crashed to the tree, and DOA, man, is going down over there, man. People are, are, are reaching out to me, bro. Like, they scared for their community, man, behind this shit. The people on the block inboxing me. Hey, y'all, y'all be safe out there, man. Y'all can look at the video for y'all self and see that this shit gonna be a whole different summer, man. I'm telling y'all, man, protect those kids, bro. These kids are off drugs, and ain't nothing that we could tell them, man. And if you some can to them, and you know them, or, or you know, try to reach out to them, man, to give them the best advice, man. Make sure you learn that C um, CL. FF152. Learn all your cases, man. What y'all into? Because y'all going to jail with no lawyers. Y'all going to jail with no commissary. Y'all just jumping off the porch to jump in the casket, man. And it's sad, man. But one man, or I don't know how many killed, but you know, they was in the they got they got shot, man. They got shot, rap, red tape, man. Um, person sent that to me. That's on their block, man. On their thing. They said it's been going down. Shootings happening all night around that motherfucker. So make sure y'all be safe, man. That's the update on the Bloodhound Lil' Jeff, man. Bloodhound Lil' Jeff, man. We, I'll be back at y'all when somebody get arrested or when it's an update on whoever got caught or whatever. Um, the next story I'm going to get into is Buka 600, man. See, they had came out and said, man, I couldn't find you nowhere else, man. I put in all the work and, and, and y'all act like y'all forgot about me. So he came at Buka 600 yesterday and said that, you know, I, I, you ain't sent me nothing since I've been in here. You ain't did nothing for me. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Call him a dick rider with Dirk and them and all type of shit. He didn't call him in the past. So, Buka responded, man. Buka 600 say, what about all the times that I did do for you? What about all the times that I did do for you? He said, Buka said, long story short, man. 
He ain't send nobody. He ain't send nobody else shit. He basically said F him and Rose, bro. He ain't send nobody else none. You know? Hey, fellas, when you go to jail, man, you got to know, man, that you on your own, man. You got your number. You did it. You got to face reality, man. You can call people all day, bro, and they'll tell you, man, on they dead homies, like Butter be lying on his homies, they'll tell you the same shit when you're on the phone with them and you'll never get a commissary slip. You won't see them until you get out. And then when you get out, that, that's when they want it. Man, we in tour with dude and them. Gang, gang, gang. You know what I'm talking about? Still ain't got shit for you. So, man, make sure you let your kids know. Make sure you let them be aware, though. You know what I'm talking about? And peer pressure is a motherfucker, bro. Like, peer pressure is a motherfucker, bro. I see that with the little verts and the little Q50s and all them, bro. Peer pressure a motherfucker, bro. Because if somebody was in their right mind, they would have been like, nah, bro, we'll catch them on the rebound, bro. We got something going on. We just came off DJU. You know what I'm saying? And, and we and we in Cali and everywhere, bro. Ain't nobody living like that, bro. To stand matches, driving BMWs and shit like that. And, and, and could come back to Chicago fresh and all that shit, bro. That's a privilege. You just got to learn to take it, man. But that's what I got on Bloodhound, Lil' Jeff, man. And that's what I got on Buka 600 and C-Day um, Fuel, man. Buka said he ain't sending no more paper. With the Lil' Jeff situation, if you stay over there in that area, man, in Trap City area, man. Hey, I wouldn't fly over there. I wouldn't drive past it because you could be driving down 67, bro, and they could have a, uh, somebody could pull up, have a shootout. Now you dead. I avoid 67 at all costs, man. 67, 66, that whole neighborhood I just avoid, man, for right now. You know what I'm talking about? It's going down, man. But y'all can check out the video that's in the front of the video, man. That's a real crime scene, man. Uh, through the alley of what Lil Jeff got killed at, man. They said they've been sparking, trying to score all night on people, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And this from a person. I had to edit out their voice, man, because, you know, that's just out of respect, man. You know, people on the fake YouTube, they get the motherfucking, um, trying to figure out who motherfucking, um, recorded it and who voice it is and everything, man. Don't worry about that, man. It's just the good thing that they reporting us so I could let, I, I could use my platform as an outlet to help you guys know to be on point. You know what I'm saying? And that's my whole thing. Be on point. That's why I'm the one, y'all. Because I want y'all to live. I don't want nobody to die no more, man. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfuckers going in the casket. Broke. Same way they came in, they leaving. Broke. Nah, bro. You supposed to you supposed to motherfucker come in this world without nothing, man, and leave with everything, bro, and leave that shit to your family. You know what I'm talking about? But my mind is my nine, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Get this video around. Shout out to the mod squad, man. Hey, Sparks, we praying for you, brother. Keep, man. Make sure you, um, you know, stay in touch. Let me know what's going on, man. Hey, and if you got anything, send it to Sparks if you know it's um Cash App, man. But besides that, hey, if you want to support me, go and get my book from Nene Marie 37 on Instagram, man. A signed copy, man. My man is my nine. Y'all be safe out there when it's hot and ninja get shot.